Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hi everyone. For today's class, you are going to cover for chapter number 5. However, this chapter are divided into 3. Okay, so today we are going to cover for the first subtopic which is 5.3 on the numeric filing. And the rest will be continue in the next class for subject and geographic filing. So here, what is numeric filing method? As you can see on the screens, this is an example of the company who uh, apply for numeric filing method in their filing system at which they are using the digit number in arranging their file. Okay, and apart from that also, as you can see, once we use the numbers, definitely we need to have the identifications of the color coding so that we can differentiate for every digits that we have. So here, the objective for subtopic number one, you need to know on what are the needed for the numeric filing, at which what are the situations or uh, the characteristic of the company that required you to use a numeric filing. And this numeric filing are divided into four types, which is consecutive numeric filing, Terminal digit numeric filing, middle digit numeric filing, and lastly is the chronologic numeric filing. Okay, so here, numeric filing again, at which you will arrange your record by using the number. Okay, at which these numbers are such a part of our lives, okay, which we often memorize a list of number easily as compared to the words. Okay, for example, like our phone number, okay, your student ID or the employee ID. So here there will be a three different situations when you will use a numeric filing. Number one, at which your company need to keep a record which have a unique number assigned to them. Okay, for example, like the numbers pre-printed on the check or the purchase order and also the invoice. Okay, for example, like when you have a check, okay, uh, the check is already have a pre-printed number. Ataupun sebagai contoh, you beli uh, buku receipt. So, buku receipt tu memang every pages will have their own uh, serial number. So, that what we call pre-printed number. So, that record have uh, been assigned with number Okay, so then you will arrange according to the number. Okay, the second situation is whereby your company, okay, have a record who have been assigned a number that has some meaning or important. Meaning here, record yang awak simpan diberi nombor and this number ada maksud. Okay, sebagai contoh, alright, for every citizen, uh, for every Malaysian, okay, each of us will have the identification card and each of the identification card for each uh, individual will have their own identification number at which they bring the meaning. Sebagai contoh, okay, uh, enam digit pertama IC kita represent our uh, dates of birth. So, that will be somehow similar with the others. So, then... It's come with the middle digit at which it represents the country, sorry, the uh, state at which uh, negeri kelahiran. And the last four digits is a unit digit at which will not replicate for each of the uh, Malaysian. Alright, so that have uh, some meanings are important. Okay, another example like student ID. Okay. As you can aware that your student ID will begin with the four digit at which the year you enroll to that university. So it will show that you are uh, in which year actually you enroll to that institution. All right. And the lastly, okay, at which the company who keep the records will have a confidentiality and you required to avoid an authorized access. Okay, to that particular record. Okay, meaning that sesebuah record tu adalah uh, rahsia, confidential. 
then you are using the numbers because you want to avoid those people who don't have a access or the authority to get that particular file. Okay, sebagai contoh, okay, for example, like your banking account balance. In order to check your account balance, definitely, you need to know the account numbers and etc. So, the account numbers is have a, a half uh, differentiates the confidentiality features as compared to the other numbers. Okay, for example, like payroll information, maklumat berkaitan gaji, and also your medical records. Okay, only you know or the companies or the institutions know these numbers is belong to whom. Alright, so why? Because mereka nak elakkan orang yang tidak sepatutnya akses kepada rekod tersebut tidak dapat mengakses sebab hanya number yang akan tertera di atas fail tersebut. Okay, uh, here there will be a several large or small volume of records be used numbers as a filing arrangement. For example, like medical offices, okay, like a hospital or, a, or the clinic. And it can be the insurance company, okay, at which they keep the record according to uh, the insured number, okay. While the colleges and also the the college and also the universities, apart from that, also the military system also use the number in order to differentiate as identification of each of their staff. Okay, so here there will be the advantages of using numeric filing. It been says that when you use a numeric filing. Okay, record can be arranged more accurate by the numbers because numbers are easier to read and arrange than the letter. Okay, maksud di sini, okay, penggunaan nombor uh, memudahkan kita untuk menyusun okay, uh, record dengan mudah dan juga tepat. Sebab apa? Nombor senang untuk dibaca as compared to the letters. Okay, I give you some idea of uh, the spelling of Muhammad. Okay. Uh, even though the pronunciations of Muhammad, but the spelling will be different, like uh, with the M O H D, M U H D, and etc. But numbers when is when it's appear one is meanings one. They does not bring the other meanings. Okay, and the second one. Okay, afterwards you will going to learn on there will be the four types of uh, numeric system, and one of it is a as consecutive numeric system. Okay, at which it will expand quickly and easily because the number, the new numbered file can be added at the end of the system of the drawer or shelf. Okay, consecutive number system ni sebenarnya you akan create another file tu. Okay, sebagai contoh, uh, mengikut susunan alphabet. Uh, uh, sorry, mengikut susunan uh, satu dan seterusnya. Okay, susunan menaik. That's why dia kata we can expand quickly and easily. Okay, number three, the cross-reference card are not filed in the numbered file. And when you use a numeric filing, the confidentiality of the record can be maintained. Why? Because the corresponding name are not appear on the file. Sebagai contoh macam patient punya record, medical record, medical record file, Okay, at which their patient file to, uh, usually there will not appear the name of patients on the cover. There will be the the i the ID ataupun the numbers only. Alright, and the next one is numeric filing system can also improve the efficiency in the filing and also the retrieval of the record in the large volume system. Okay, especially dalam company yang menguruskan record yang banyak, sebagai contoh like hospital, so it will be easier when the file is being arranged with the num with the number instead of the person name. Sebab apa person name can be repeated and even somehow nama orang ada yang nama sama. Okay. And lastly, numeric filing is very useful in a computerized record system. When we talk about computerized record system, okay, abjad A, B, C dan juga numbers 1, 2, 3 is bring the value to the computer. Okay, the computer system to process. When it's come with the digits, it actually will help you to quickly key in in the computer and to search for it. 
However, as compared to when you want to key in the alphabetical, you need to know the spelling, the correct spelling, for example, uh, the names of the patient. Okay. However, there will be the disadvantages of using the numeric filing. For example, like if let's like, say you are uh, miss key the digit, okay, you tersilap key in digit. So, dia akan menyebabkan miss file. Miss file meaning that you tersalah simpan uh, file tersebut kerana digitnya tersilap. Okay, the second one, okay, the disadvantages of numeric filing is actually dia adalah indirect system. Indirect system meaning that, okay, in order for you to assess sebagai contoh macam patient record, you kena tahu, okay, contohnya uh, Ali, you kena tahu Ali punya patient number, then you can find the record. You cannot simply, oh Ali. So, you pergi cari dekat <coughs> your record department. You will not find that record for Ali. Okay, unless you know the file number for Ali. Alright, that is mean by indirect system. Which is, you need to go to the system. You find the name of Ali and do, and it's appear the name, uh, the file number. Then you can take the file number in order for you to search in the storage area. Okay. Apart from that also, the disadvantages will occur at which congestions are, which is the several number of user. Uh, okay. Uh, at which there will be several user at the same time akan menjadi kesesakan pada satu-satu uh, shelf ataupun drawer if let's like, say you menggunakan consecutive number. Tapi kalau you guna the others uh, number system like terminal digit, middle digit, uh, there will be no issue on the congestion. And the next one is the number somehow makin panjang, makin susah untuk kita ingat. Alright, in the correct order. And lastly, if let's like, say uh, Record for one correspondent name ataupun subject might, might be assigned different numbers and file in more than one location if all components of filing system are not maintained carefully. Okay, maksud uh, di sini adalah uh, kelemahan dia adalah bila sebagai contoh, I give you one example kalau patient tu datang ke uh, hospital, okay, first time and then dia, uh, that hospital will create the file untuk patient tersebut. Okay, contohnya Azlin Azman. So, dia bagi the a record number 1234 so uh, the following week uh, week pula saya datang untuk uh, apa ni go for an appointment tetapi dalam sistem uh, hospital dia tak update yang minggu lepas saya dah register dan saya dah ada uh, medical record number 1234 okay so what will happen is that dia akan registerkan lagi nombor baru saya so here, bila kita tak uruskan, tak maintain one of the component which is yang minggu lepas punya penyusunan, so dia akan menyebabkan seorang pasien akan ada lebih daripada satu number dan menyebabkan uh, maklumat itu akan disimpan dalam fail yang berbeza. Okay, that's why it's very important for us to maintain all the component in the filing system. So in the next video, I'm going to touch on the types of numeric filing method.